that hand, that's got to be the filthiest thing uh, you could put your hands on. Hello again, everybody. This is Cruise Man. Just about to take a little ride here on my Goldwing. Do my first moto vlog. I'm going to call this the first moto vlog of summer because it's 84 degrees outside, maybe even warmer. I'll tell you here in a second. Put my garage door down. I actually have to run a couple errands. I have to go to the bank today, get some cash. I still use that uh, stuff called cash. And I'm also going to go to the grocery store, pick up a few essentials. Most of you, I think, are probably uh, hunkered down at home. I did a video uh, a couple moto vlogs ago or a couple vlogs ago about uh, this current uh, lockdown situation. So I'm doing my part for social distancing by being out on the Goldwing away from everybody. Now normally on a normal day when the weather's good like this, I would have gotten up uh, at about 4.45 this morning. I'd have been heading over to my Einstein's Bagels, which many of you have seen me moto vlog from there or leave from there on my moto vlogs. And of course, all the restaurants are shut down here. So I've been having to make coffee at home and doing my little uh, breakfast routine at home, which that was just about <laughs> my whole social activity of the day was going for coffee in the morning because I work from home and I pretty much work by myself. So I'm used to being alone. Uh, you know, this quarantine is, that's what I call Tuesday. So not a big deal for me. Now you'll notice today it is actually, oh well, my temperature gauge I don't think has come up fully to temperature yet because I know it's in the 80s out here. It's a beautiful day. A little bit breezy but not bad. Just an amazing day. Clear skies. We have had so much rain lately. I have tried to get out on the bike uh, several times and we've just had incredible rain. In fact, I've been trying to get to my dealer uh, to do a test ride on the new 2020 and uh, I just haven't been able to get there because of the rain so hopefully within the next few days if this uh, nice weather holds up for a while I'll be able to do that some of you may notice a new addition to my handlebars uh, that is my new GoPro Hero 8 so now I have dual Hero 8 Blacks, one on my helmet, one on the handlebar. And hopefully we will get good quality video from both. I'm really impressed with the video and the image stabilization on these uh, GoPro Hero 8. Now the one on my helmet, you'll notice, has a little frame around it. That's called the Media Mod, and the reason I have that is because it allows me to plug in my external microphone, which goes up underneath my chin bar, uh, for my audio. And I'm, you know, I'm pretty pleased with the audio quality I get from the GoPro. Some of you guys use external audio recorders. I think Memphis Mike might use a Tascam, uh, and he gets really good audio with that. I know uh, Don Smith has a Tascam external recorder and he loves it but uh, I'm pretty happy with the GoPro as a uh, audio recorder so as I was saying earlier my uh, bagel shop is closed down uh, normally on a normal day at lunch uh, 
my good friend that I grew up with, his name's Jess. He moved here a few years, uh, years ago from Colorado and we grew up together. We've known each other over 50 years and have stayed in touch throughout that whole time. Well, typically on a typical day, he and I will go to lunch together. And we have a circuit of restaurants we go to. Of course, everything's closed now. So uh, now we have to go pick up things at the drive through window. And sometimes we use DoorDash to get something delivered. I've been using DoorDash at home at night a few times. I have th things delivered from my favorite restaurants. And, uh, you know, it, it works okay. Some, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work too good. But I'd say more times than not, it works pretty good. So now that riding season is upon us, I'm just curious, how are you guys dealing with this? Are you getting out and riding right now? How's the weather where you live? Put something in the comments down below. I'd really like to hear from you. And uh, I do read all the comments, believe it or not. I may not have an opportunity to respond to every comment, but uh, I do try to read all the comments. So coming up on Cruise Man's Garage Reviews, I'm going to be reviewing a light that mounts to the back of your helmet. This will be one of the next things I review. And it basically is a brake light and turn signals uh, that mounts to your helmet. Some of you have helmets that have this feature built in. But there is a module that connects to the lights on the Goldwing so that when you apply the brakes it I guess it sends a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or I'm not sure what kind of signal it sends and it uh, allows this uh, light to illuminate at the appropriate time so we're gonna test that out here in the next few days I want to see how that works I'm also going to be testing the Fobo Tire 2, which is their second generation of TPMS for your car. So they've sent me the uh, Fobo Tire 2 system, and I will be installing that and testing that out. And just for grins today, I'm going to check my tire pressure here when I get to my uh, destination. And I want to find out how the tire pressure on the Fobo system compares to the tire pressure on the Goldwing, what it says. To give you some comparison, several of you have asked me that question. How does the tire pressure compare? And I'd never really uh, looked at it. So today, here in just a second, I will get the tire pressure off the Goldwing. I'm pulling into my bank parking lot right now and I'll pull over and we'll just take a look and see. I just have to take my gloves off, get everything out of my pocket. Now you might not be able to see the tire pressure on the bike because this GoPro has such a, a wide angle lens. I don't know if I can get down close enough to where you'll be able to see it, but we'll try. Let's see. Take my gloves off here. And let's just take a look, see what we got. Okay, I'm showing 41 on the front and 40 on the rear. So let's see what Fobo says. Well, it's quite a bit different, isn't it? The Fobo says 38. 6 on the front and 37.1. Oh, there we go. It just now updated. So it's 41 on the front, 39.6 on the rear. That's pretty close. That's within 0.4 on the rear tire. So I think that's a pretty accurate, uh, at least as accurate as the one Honda has. So I think I'm okay with that. That looks pretty good. So they seem to be pretty consistent with each other. And I'm anxious to try the ones out on the car. 
a lot of you have watched my video on the accessory installation the accessory reviews uh, part two uh, and some of you pointed out I was supposed to mention what accessories I would not add again and I forgot to do that and I think the one there's a couple of them one from Honda I probably would not add the trunk rack if I had it to do over I might go with just an extra light up on the trunk uh, the reason is number one I don't use a trunk rack uh, the reason I got the trunk rack was just basically for the light that goes underneath from uh, Pathfinder LED because I thought it was a safety item. The other thing uh, that I and, and the other thing I don't like about the trunk rack on mine anyway, when I tightened it all down, reinstalled the trunk lid, and I've told you this before, it kind of put the trunk lid into a slight twist, a torque, so it doesn't it doesn't shut properly. It, it, it shuts you can get it to shut but it doesn't shut as good as it did before I put on the trunk rack and I'm not sure there's a way to mitigate that I'd, but I'd have to take it all apart again and redrill the holes and do all that and I don't want to have to do that uh, I might even leave off the little LED entry lights uh, the only reason I love them but they're they're just kind of quirky they don't work all the time sometimes they come on when they're supposed to sometimes they don't uh, I probably uh, would leave that off. The other thing that I installed and I actually did remove was the Rivco passenger armrests. Now these were extremely well made and extremely comfortable. The problem I had with them is they just simply did not fit the look of the bike. So I didn't like the way they looked. Um, so I just removed them. Uh, I sold them to somebody online. They got a really good deal on them. So that's, there's three things right there I probably would not add again. Uh, if I, you know, if I had it to do over, I probably would hold off on those things. So anyway, more stuff coming. I've got my seat review coming for this custom seat I'll talk about. Um, then I'm going to try out a little more on my road trip uh, coming up here pretty, pretty soon. Uh, another thing I will mention, just my little safety tip. We talk about washing the hands and not touching the face. Here's my uh, safety health tip for the week. And that is when you get gas, put a paper towel or one of those towels you clean the windshield with around the handle of the gas pump. Don't touch that that hand that's got to be the filthiest thing uh, you could put your hands on so always grab one of those uh, little blue towels that you clean your windshield with or a paper towel or something to wrap around that or wear a glove or whatever uh, anytime you put gas in your car or your motorcycle so anyway that's it for this week thanks again for joining me today and I'll see you next time on cruise man's motor vlog if you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.